Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at some of the brand new interactive shape tools provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, you'll find the shape tools over here on the left within your main toolbar underneath Drawing. So I'm going to click on Shapes, and for this video we're going to take a look at Polygon, Gear, Bolt Hole, and Grid. Let's start with Polygon. Now, as soon as I select that, 1CNC says Pick the Center. Now we can use coordinate input, we can snap geometry. I'm just going to simply snap the datum with the left click. Now once I do that, I can dynamically now drag this polygon out. Notice there's a dash circle in there. That's our inscribed circle. So if I'd like, I can come over here and just left click, and there's the shape. All right. Now if you want to type in a value for that inscribed circle, just left click your center, come over here to diameter, type in whatever diameter you'd like, and then click the OK button. All right, let's do that again. I'm going to grab the center here. All right, there's our diameter. If you want to dy dynamically drag, you can erase that. Now we can dynamically drag if we want. We can also dynamically change the sides. Let's change that to eight. So now we've got eight sides there. I'll left hand mouse click. All right, so it's very, very simple and easy to use. Let's take a look at gear now. So we'll head over here to gear. Same thing that happens, it says pick center. For this demonstration, I'm just going to grab the datum again. Once I do that, I can drag this out. Okay, so just like before, I can dynamically rotate this. I can dynamically drag any size that I'd like. But if I want to put in a diameter, I can certainly do that. Come over here. I'll put in a pitch radius of, let's say, 3 inches. For teeth, I'm going to type in 45. And for pressure angle, I'll change that to, let's say, 25. Okay, you can also specify a start angle and an end angle. I might say, hey, that's 34 degrees as a start angle. And when I'm happy, I just click OK. So it's very, very simple to use and very dynamic. All right, I'm going to select the gear and delete that. Let's take a look at bolt hole now. Same thing, pick center. I'm going to grab the datum. And as I do, I can drag this out. So you can see there's a lot of feedback and a lot of ability to dynamically change things. I'm going to change the hole count to 12. I'm going to change the diameter to a quarter inch. And let's put the pattern diameter at how about 5 inches. That looks good, so I'll click OK. Really, really simple to use. All right, now let's finish by taking a look at grid now. So for the number of holes in that, I'm going to change this to 10 in X. And in Y, I'm going to change it to 6. OK. It says pick the first corner. Again, I'm going to grab the datum. And then as I drag, I'm dragging that grid. Notice that I can pan, zoom in, and zoom out. And I can drag that grid to any size that I'd like. All right, now if I want to type in coordinate input, not a problem. I can head up here. And for example, I could type in x12. And I instantly get feedback over on the right-hand side. For the y value, I'm going to type in minus 6. That looks good, so I'll click OK. And there's our grid. Very, very simple to set up. So XR5, very powerful, lots of feedback and the ability to dynamically create shapes. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, what we're going to do is take a look at the blueprint tools provided by XR5. I'll see you then.